Hi everyone, Becky here from Notes in the Sewing Room. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. Now today's video is all about my makes from January. So um, I hope you enjoy watching and um, you enjoy what I've got to show you today. I have got a range of different bits and pieces to show you. I've got a skirt, a couple of cardigans, a dress, yeah, so stay tuned and you'll find out all about it. As always, if you do enjoy watching today's video, I would love it if you could press that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much to everyone who does come back week after week and watches my videos. You know, I, I really do appreciate you being here and I love having a chat with you. So hopefully you enjoy watching my videos as well. I am trying to post a, a few different types of videos on my channel. So do keep letting me know what you're enjoying, what you'd like to see in the future, that kind of thing. Leave me um, any comments comments below. I love to have a chat with you in the comments section as always. Um, and I will be putting all the details of the patterns that I mentioned in today's video in the description box as well. Um, so you can check those out if you're interested. So let's get started and I'll tell you what I've been making. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you today is a dress that I've been wanting to make for ages. And this is the Tilly, Tilly and the Button, should I say, a Billy dress. So I've actually made the Billy jumper a couple of times and I'm actually wearing one today. So this is a version that I made slightly cropped. So um, it just comes to uh, the top of my skirt, as you'll see there. Um, but I've actually got two cropped versions of this jumper. Um, but I was really keen to have a go at making the dress because, of course, I've seen lots of beautiful versions on Instagram as you do and um, a couple of my friends have got um, versions of the Billy dress as well and I've kind of looked at those and thought wow I really like that I want to have a go so of course I didn't want to do it straightforward as in the pattern pack <laughs> I always make a few different changes or should I say always not always sometimes so I've made a few minor alterations to this pattern and um, mainly because I just felt like it was going to suit me better if I did that. So when I made the Billy jumper, this one that I'm wearing, for me, the neckline is a little bit high and I've kind of got used to it now, but I do find it a little bit annoying that it is quite high up on my neck. So the first change that I decided to make to my dress, which is this version here, um, is to lower the neckline. So I lowered the neckline by around about three inches. So I literally drew that onto my fabric and cut it with my scissors. So I didn't, um, you know, make a new pattern piece or anything like that. I literally sort of marked with chalk where I wanted to uh, cut and then I, I, I cut that. And I also extended the neckband as well. Um, another change that I decided to make was the billy jumper and uh, dress are supposed to be finished with a hem band so on my jumper versions that I've made I have added the hem band in but I just wasn't sure on the dress version if that was something that was going to suit me and if I was going to like it so I decided to miss off the hem band and instead lengthen the dress by four inches and instead for the bottom of the dress I've literally uh, turned it up, up a couple of times and I've just top stitched it with my twin needle instead which for me has worked better um, I am by the way going to put in some pictures um, or some video footage for each of the things that I mentioned today so you can see how they look and um, you know what the fit's like and everything um so on this version as well you'll see if i hold it up that i have also changed the sleeve length now this is because i only had around about one and a half meters of this ponty roma fabric that i used so this fabric was actually given to me by uh, minerva in exchange for a review on their website uh, which is on there if you search for notes from the sewing room on the minerva website you'll find my full review if you're interested um, but yeah, so I wanted to have a go at this dress, but I didn't have quite enough fabric really. Um, so I did the gather around the top of the sleeve and I wanted to create a kind of a poofy sleeve detail. So I actually added some elastic into the cuff. So I literally created a, a little channel and then I measured on my arm how much elastic I actually wanted to add in there, threaded it through and it's created this lovely elastic detail around the, the bottom of the sleeve so I think that's worked really nicely and depending on how far up or far down I kind of push the sleeves when I'm wearing it it depends how poofy the sleeves actually look if that makes sense um, the other thing that I changed about this dress was actually the, the the overall fit of it now it's supposed to have quite a lot of ease actually built into this dress but I really wasn't sure which size to actually go for so my measurements are 32 28 and 40 for the hip and I wanted to make sure that I got enough room, but I didn't want to have too much room, if that made sense. So I looked at the finished garment measurements and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to make it slightly bigger to begin with and then kind of grade it in during the making process if I need to. So that's actually what I ended up doing. So 
I cut out the size three at the top and then I grayed out, out to a size five in Tilly sizes at the bottom. So then when I was making this, I put it on inside out and I uh, thought, oh, actually it's a bit loose for me. So I decided to pin myself in the dress um, with the dress on inside out um, and kind of got the rough fit that I wanted. Then I used my chalk just to mark where I needed to actually sew, um, then took out my pins, um, took off the dress and uh, then I actually sewed that up and um, it's worked out quite well to be honest so I'm really pleased with the overall fit of it now and so much so that I feel quite excited about making another version so I have actually got some um, navy uh, striped ponte roma in my stash um, that I'm hoping to yeah sew up into another one of these at some point soon oh do you know my sewing list is just like so long at the moment there's so many different things that I want to make and I just feel like I don't have enough time to sew them all up so um but yeah I'm sure you're the same if you're interested in sewing whether it's patterns that you're into or fabric or whatever you know suddenly I've ended up with quite well over years <laughs> I've ended up with quite a big stash of patterns and fabrics and things and it's going to take me absolutely ages to work my way through them but hey ho I just love to look at them and it all gives me inspiration so I guess it doesn't matter um but yeah this is the first thing that I wanted to share with you today and um hopefully you like it I absolutely love the fabric it's really snuggly and feels really soft against my skin so um yeah definitely a winner and I would say this is probably my favorite jersey dress at the moment so I guess that's kind of you know, two thumbs up from me uh, for this project. So the next thing that I wanted to share with you today is actually a denim skirt. So if you watch my channel or follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I love a denim skirt. And that's just because they're so versatile. They go with loads of stuff. Um, I can wear them with jumpers, t-shirts, cardigans, I don't know, whatever I fancy. But it's something that I wear in winter, in summer, whenever. I love a denim skirt. So I felt like I needed another one because I'd got well I have got a few in my cupboard that are getting a little bit tired so I just wanted to make something else and um I can't remember who it was I think it might have been a uh, Kath from made from made by Cathcraft who had tried the tulip skirt by sew over it recently so I thought yes I'd forgotten that I like that pattern I'm gonna dig that one out and try it so that's what I've done and here it is. So this is my uh, denim tulip skirt. So I recently went to see one of my favorite bands, The Shires, um, locally, and I wore this out. So that was really, really nice. I wore this with um, a lovely purple top that I'd made. And um, yeah, I felt really nice. I teamed it with my sparkly converse and some tights. And um, yeah, I just, I, just, I just felt quite nice wearing this really. Um, it's got a lovely fitted waistband. Um, it's got those um, pleat details down the front. And then it's got some darts in the center, in the, in the back there. And then in the center, I've added in an invisible zip. So all in all, I'm really pleased with this little skirt. It came together so quickly and I made it out of less than one meter of fabric as well, which, you know, is, is a winner really. Um, this is a remnant of fabric that I bought from Sew Over It in their kind of post Christmas sale. And I wasn't really sure if I'd have enough or not. And um, to be honest, I've had to actually piece together the waistband. So rather than cutting one piece on the front for the waistband about to, had to cut two um, and the same for the lining and whatnot but anyway it doesn't matter it's all gone together so I made this in a size 10 at the waist and then I graded out to a size 12 around the hip area and it's a really really good fit so I'm really really pleased with it I've actually tried this pattern a couple of times before and I just forgot about it to be honest and how much I liked it because I think the other versions that I've made were things that I'd mainly wear into the office and I've not been going into the office because um, I'm, I'm working at home. So even though they're in my wardrobe, yeah, I just, I've not been reaching for them. So, but anyway, I, I love this pattern. So if you haven't tried it, it is quite an old sew over it pattern, but it's a really good one. So I would definitely recommend it. The next thing that I wanted to share with you today is a lovely snuggly cardigan. So this is a cardigan um, that I'd tried the pattern oh, a while ago because it was given to me by my handmade wardrobe patterns so they're part of the crafty so-and-so brand and they've got an overlock of course uh, which is uh, out now i believe and this is a, a pattern that's included i think on the overlock of course but i tried it out last year so i've actually made this is my third version of the cardigan so it's a lovely cardigan because um, i've made mine in a cable knit 
fabric as you can see there so I bought the fabric from Higgs and Higgs um, I like that the pattern here has got really long arms I, I'm someone that is quite tall and I have got quite long arms and um, actually this jumper that I'm wearing has actually got kind of bracelet length sleeves um, but I like a long sleeve sometimes that comes all the way down here and then if I want to I can fold back the cuffs so that's the perfect thing about this cardigan it has actually got really long cuffs if you see that so you can fold them back and they look really nice depending on which way you want to wear it um, it's got a lovely long neckband that comes down to the front and some lovely deep pocket details as well which I really like I guess this card cardigan is very similar to maybe the Blackwood cardigan by Helen's Closet so I don't know if you've made that one um, I haven't actually but um, I think they are fairly similar in their design um, but this is just such a nice cardigan it's really warm to wear I made pretty much all of this on my overlocker um, I've got a Husqvarna um, S15 if you're interested um, and then the only thing that I jumped onto my sewing machine to do was to sew on the pockets on the front so um, they've actually got um, I top I top stitched that there with a twin needle and then I use my sewing machine just to do a straight line of stitching just down the side of the pocket as well you can't really see prob probably very well on the camera there um, but yeah, this is just a really lovely make. Um, I made this, I went to a sewing day recently with some friends and um, we had a really nice day eating biscuits and sweets and munched my way through a whole <laughs> packet of mini eggs during the day, as you do, I love mini eggs. Um, but yeah, I made this um, in less than a day and I actually started my sew over it skirt at the same time as well. So um, it was a very good day actually in terms of sewing progress for me. Um, but I really, really like this cardigan and I'd recommend trying it if you're interested in making a warm, snuggly cardigan for this time of year. The final thing that I wanted to share with you t in today's video is actually something that um, you may have seen me record a full review for and this is the brand new cardigan by Tilly and the Buttons and this is the Sewing Pearl cardigan um, or actually the Pearl cardigan, not Sewing Pearl, that's the hashtag, hashtag Sewing Pearl. If you're interested you can check that out on Instagram um, but this is actually uh, made out of a very similar fabric. You'll see it's the same as the jumper that I'm wearing, it's just in a different colourway. So I believe that this um, sweatshirting is available in a few different colours. I actually really like the rusty colour version so I've got my eye on that and I'm kind of thinking maybe I might get myself some of that, don't know. Um, I bought both of these fabrics from Higgs and Higgs um, a while ago, same as my cable knit actually. Um, I, I quite like all the jersey fabrics that they've got on their website um, but this um, cardigan it's really really nice it's a cropped cardigan so I tend to wear quite a lot of high-waisted skirts and that kind of thing so um, a cropped cardigan works quite well for me because it does sit quite nicely at the top of my skirt so the pearl cardigan um, I made in a Tilly in the Button size 3 with no changes um, I was really happy with the sleeve length um, unlike my jumper here the sleeves are long enough for me um, so that's good um, it's got some really nice details again you could make this on your sewing machine or you can make it on your overlocker um, I think pretty much all of this I did on my overlocker um, and it came together really really quickly um, yeah you can probably make this in a couple of hours to be honest it's you know including cutting it out so th th there's not that many pattern pieces and um, yeah they all, all slots together really well as always Tilly's patterns you know they come with the beautiful instructions and they just guide you through the whole process to, you know if you need them to basically um i often kind of think oh i like to think to myself first where does that go where does that go and then i kind of look at the instructions if i need to um but this instruction pack was really really good i did have a flick through just to make sure that i was doing the right thing as it was a wrap cardigan rather than a kind of straightforward you know other cardigan like the one i just showed you before with no fastening so um i like that this has got the beautiful wrap detailing around the front um you've got these lovely long uh, bits here so um, i do show you actually in my previous video that i recorded which you can find on my channel how it all closes up and um you know what what the fit's like and, and that kind of thing so i won't go into the whole making process too much on this one just because you know if you have already watched my other video it'll be quite boring to go over it all again I suppose um, but this is a really lovely make I've really enjoyed making it and I have enjoyed wearing it as well um, and also in a little bit of this fabric that I had uh, left I've made 
my little boy William a matching jumper and I made us matching pyjamas at Christmas and since then I've been thinking oh what else can I make us that's kind of matching you know before William gets too old and he's like mummy that's not very nice I don't want to wear that or you know he just wants to choose his own clothes so when I can get away with it I thought yes I'm gonna make us some things that are matching and it'll just be really cute so um, I've made him a little Poppy and Jazz strawberry sweatshirt so I can't actually show you that at the moment because it's in the washing machine but maybe I might show you on a future makes video so you can see it then um, but I will put in a picture of us wearing our matching outfits as well if, you, if you'd like to see that um, but yeah he, he looked really sweet in his little jumper and yeah we sat in a cafe at lunchtime and we're both wearing our uh, matching jumpers and I just I really really wanted someone to go oh where did you get those from oh they're nice but no one did but I was kind of hoping that they might do and then I could go, I made them. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've had to show you today. And um, if you have, I would love it if you could press that like button and leave me any comments below that you'd like to about the things that I've made. If you've had to go at making them before, um, I'd love to know what you're working on at the moment. If you, you've got any projects on the go or anything that you're hoping to start this week, um, do let me know because that gives me inspiration of things that I can make, um, you know, in the future myself as well um thank you of course to everyone who is a subscriber for coming back and joining me again but if you haven't subscribed already it would be amazing if you could consider subscribing and pressing that notification bell as well because then you'll be notified every time i put a new video out but until next time i'll leave it there and thank you as always for being with me and i'll see you again soon bye